Hello, how are you doing, friends? Uh, lest we forget in the midst of our current disagreements, Asari, um, Namdekano, and uh, Wazurike, I wouldn't want to wait for the next Biafran Heroes Day to honor some people. Like, uh, there are three of them. You know, fighting for Biafra. I want to talk about the Belgian soldier that died during the Biafra War. You know, we are still in the spirit of the season. Like I said, May 30 was just uh, three days ago. Yeah. So, during the Biafra-Nigeria War, many lives were lost. These lives include that of prominent men and people that are not even Biafrans. There's a famous name in the ears of Biafrans, and he's Mark Gusens. In 1964, he went to the Congo and as a Belgian chief advisor and with the rank of colonel assisting the ANC. While in 1968, he went and fought in Biafra under French mercenary leader Falkes with the rank of major and was killed during a Nigerian attack in Onisha. That was in 29th November 1968. His death took place when the Biafrans attempted to retake the city of Onisha, which has fallen to the foreign, um, the Nigerian army. So on the 30th of May 2020, um, which we marked Biafra Day as usual, is a day we remember fallen heroes and legends that died for the name Biafra. So we urge all Biafrans not to forget the fallen heroes who had no trace of Igbo or all that ethnicity that constitute Biafra, but they fought for the quest of Biafra in the quest, yeah. So just as Magusen is a pleasing name to many Biafrans, he would also be pleased to be remembered wherever he is. So Magusen is among the heroes of Biafra. Anytime we arrange our Hall of Fame and everything, his name has to be there. So we remember Mark Gusen. He's not a Biafran, but he fought for the Biafrans. So the next two people I'll talk about are actually Biafrans. Um, uh, we are remembering Okokun Ndem the journalist that anchored Radio Biafra during the Civil War. Uh, that was a popular name. Okoko Ndem was the most popular voice within and outside Biafra during Biafra and Nigeria Civil War. And this war took place 1967 to 1970. Okoko Ndem was not the head of Radio Biafra, but Radio Biafra was on his head. He was a journalist. He anchored Radio Biafra during the Civil War. <laughs> wow. So Kukundem was the most popular voice within and outside Biafra during Biafra and Nigeria Civil War from 1967 to 1970. Okoko was not the head of Radio Biafra, but Radio Biafra was on his head. A man who is surrounded by enemies guides his life always. That was his popular jingle during the war to keep Biafrans alert. Okukun Dem used his voice to defeat the federal troops on air even if the battle was lost on the ground. Wow. Okukun Dem, uh, the great Biafran reporter, drew a global attention to Biafra. He was not from Igbo extraction of Biafra, but this legendary journalist hailed from Ikeneto in Odupani, a uh, cross river province of Biafra. Uh, he died in August 2003 and was buried in Calabar on Igbo Day Festival in September 2003. 
Yeah. General Dim Emeka Odumegu Juku, uh, who was the head of state of Biafra and other prominent Biafra dignitaries, were present at his burial site in Calabar. So, um, he fought the federal troops standstill with his tongue from Radio Biafra Enugu. Enugu. So many enjoy listening to his highly motivating war propaganda. The mobile radio Biafra Enugu, but broadcasting from the bunker at Omaha on BC or Obo. <laughs> you could imagine that he did a good job. He was a good propagandist. Continue to rest in peace, our legend Okokunda. We are remembering you. We remembered you on the 30th of May 2020. You are a Biafran hero. You are a legend. As far as Biafra is concerned, you are a legend. Okokunda. Okokunda. Respect, respect, respect. So, this third person I'm talking about is rarely mentioned, but he played a very important role. Yes. I want to, um, anytime people play this video, they will remember these three people. So, anytime you see this video, you remember these three together. It's so important to me. So we are remembering Captain Osakwe, that was Captain Francis Osakwe. He was a pilot that flew Ojuku to Ivory Coast in 1970, that was towards the end of the war. Captain Osakwe was so trusted by General Ojuku that he entrusted his life to him. At the last hours of Biafra, Ojuku had to make that historical departure from Biafra. Ujuku's failure to exit would have been a fatal error of sure death to him. Many other Biafran pilots were ready to do that last flight for the general. Ujuku trusted none. Or rather, let's say he trusted Osakwe more to ferry him to safety. A saboteur would have just diverted the plane elsewhere, and the rest is history. Ujuku trusted Captain Osakwe, who delivered him to safety. Captain Osakwe was from Onisha. Yeah. Um, I think he lived or was born in Onisha. Uh, Osakwe is a short form of Orisakwe. Uh, if you come to the hinterland Igbos, the coastal area, I, I don't know. Yeah, if you come to hinterland Igbos, mainly. So please note, it's not abnormal for different regions along the southeast coast to bear similar names. Yes, uh, we are still the same people. Some people arguing that Ojuku ran away don't know anything. Just like when... They don't know anything. If Ojuku was captured and humiliated, that is the end. The little dignity we had after the war was because Ojuku was not killed. I want you to get that into your head, into your skull. Ojuku actually refused to listen to elders when they told him to leave. The pressure was mounted. People composed songs with respect to this. Secondly, it wasn't Ojuku that executed the coup. Ojuku even halted the coup. That was a 1966 coup. He halted it. It wasn't Ojuku that reneged on Aburi Accord. Gowan did. You remember the Aburi Accord in Ghana? Ojuku stood by it, but Gowan changed his mind. Ojuku didn't, Ojuku didn't just declare Biafra. Eastern assembly requested him to do that that was eca ojuku did what has to be done so what do you think of this video please like and share this video also drop your comments on the comment section of this channel we like to know what you think it is important to us 
please subscribe to our youtube channel also click on the bell icon to get more of our updates anytime it drops azoka uzo oj signing out